Hi guys, today I wanted to make a short video about some of the more common Chinese herbal medicines that you might find at a local Chinese pharmacy or sometimes a uh, acupuncture clinic or sometimes even a kung fu school, which I'll go more into. Um, the one that everyone's probably most familiar with is Tiger Balm. It's a uh, comes out in like a waxy type paste that you uh, rub into an injured or strained uh, area. Usually good for um, relieving pain in muscle. Um, the next one are these Po Chai pills. Let's see here. Herbal supplement. Um, usually good for slight dietary problems, headache, stomach ache, indigestion, gas, that sort of thing. A very basic, um, common remedy. Um, this one's also pretty common. A lot of people know it, but might not know what, what or how it's used. Yunin Bio powder. Um, this is actually used as a coagulant. Um, where a lot of herbal, Chinese herbal medicines are used to increase circulation. This is kind of the opposite solution. So if you have a cut, need to stop the bleeding, um, you can use this powder to cause coagulation of the blood. Uh, similar to the Tiger Balm is this. I'm not even sure what the name of this is, but I like it a lot. Um, very heavy kind of a menthol liquid like the tiger balm it's really good um, for sore muscles feels like as if you were to use icy hot or something but in a liquid form um, and maybe this last bit um, that that is pretty common that people might not know the background um, and it's a little more eccentric is this dit da jiao is a um, dit da is the name for the Chinese medicine practice of bone setting, um, which is was very common in southern China. The practice moved from southern China to Hong Kong and then Hong Kong to the US. Um, for those who don't know, the practice of bone setting was usually a skill acquired by uh, Sifu, Kung Fu masters, Kung Fu teachers, and I think a layman's way to think of dit da is kind of like common day sports medicine. So dealing with uh, strains and sprains and sometimes broken bones and having to reset those bones, um, bruises, that sort of thing. So um, for a lot of the very basic uh, injuries, strains and sprains of the joint or bruises um, on the skin, um, you want to use dit da jiao, which is a liquid. I have a few different kinds here and I'll explain them. This one is from in an acupuncture clinic. You can see it's a very dark brown, um, pretty pungent. Um, again, it's supposed to be rubbed on the area of need um, to increase circulation and to get the chi flowing and get the blood flowing. So kind of the opposite of the Yunin Baiyao. So you would not want to put the Dit Da Jiao on an open cut or wound. These two come from Kung Fu schools. Sifus um, usually have their own recipes and you know I've kind of gone to different places and tried different versions of Dit Da Jiao. This one's from Master Champoy in Florida, who's a good friend of my Sifu here in Seattle, Grandmaster John S.S. Leong. Uh, they both make their own Dit Da Jiao. This one is similar to the one from the acupuncture clinic. It's a dark brown, kind of lap, stays on the skin a little bit longer. Um, but my favorite is my Sifu's. I might, may be biased, but I find that from actually working with the injuries, this one seems to be working the best probably because it's really geared towards our training so um, that should tell you something again it's just a, 
a light liquid made from herbal supplements soaked in alcohol and aged for months, sometimes even years. And it is rubbed gently on the skin to increase circulation. Um, so these are just a few of the very, very common uh, traditional Chinese herbal medicines that you can find at your local Chinatown.